a type of crash course, if you will. First, confirm your virtual environment is activated to avoid installing the dependencies in your global environment. Then you can type Python 3-m pip install typo double equals to 0 0.13.0. .0. This should install typo as a dependency in your isolated virtual environment. And along with typo, all the needed sub dependencies will get installed. You can start with creating a Hello World app with typo. Now in the current directory, create a file and call it main.py. And start by importing typo. Then you'll be defining a main function, def main. This function takes no argument for now. And then in there, you have typo.echo. Hello world. Finally, make the script executable by checking if dunder name equals quotes dunder main, and then run in typo dot run, passing it your main function, and you can save this file. And in your terminal, you can execute this by running Python three main dot py, and you should see hello world printed in your console confirming that your type of CLI tool now works. This is a very basic type of CLI application where all you're doing is echoing or printing out the text, hello world. Next, we'll be understanding arguments and options with command line applications and typer. And to do that, you make your app a bit more interactive by adding arguments and options. In Typer and other command line applications, arguments are defined as function parameters which are required by default and are passed in a specific order to the command line application. And then CLI options, on the other hand, are optional parameters which often have default values as they are not always required. And they are parameters passed to the command line application with a specific name that starts with double dash or a single dash. Now, to see that in action, you start by changing your main function to a greet function and accept an argument name type annotated to signify that this accepts only string values and then an age option type annotated to signify that it accepts only integer values. This will be a type or option so you can accept a default value setting that to 20. This right here is type hinting or annotation and you would see a lot of it in this course. Type hinting or annotation is a way to specify the expected data types of variables, function arguments, and return values. Typer relies heavily on type hinting and annotation, and you're going to be using a lot of it throughout this course. Back to your function. You can change the typer.echo to now use this past argument and option with fstring, Say hello is in the name argument. You are age option is old. This is now a greet function that greets a user and tells them how old they are. Then you change your typer run command to take the greet function instead. Remember to save the file. Now, if you save and try to run this as is, like you did before, you should get an error saying missing argument name. That is because the name argument you've specified is required and the program fails without it. To see exactly what your CLI requires, you can take advantage of the automatic documentation provided by Typer. To see this, you can run Python 3 main.py double dash help. And you should see details about your CLI application, the arguments and the options. Now that you know this, you can run this again and pass the name argument, like say, Python 3, main.py, and a name, Joe. You should get, hello Joe, you're 20 years old. This without passing any age parameter. This is because if the optional age parameter is not passed, it uses the default value you've set, which is 20. But you can also run and pass the age value with Python 3, main.py, joe for name, double dash age, 30. 
And now you get, hello Joe, you are 30 years old. Confirming the use of our argument and option. Finally, let's discuss CLI application commands. Typer allows you to create CLI programs with several commands. These commands are used to carry out certain named tasks and specific functions. An example of this, if you've ever worked with Git, is say git push. Git, in this case, will be installed as a CLI application, and then push is the command passed to carry out the git push function. Before creating apps with commands, you need to understand that Typer has basic and then explicit applications. What you've worked with or seen so far are basic Typer applications, which under the hood, Typer actually converts into explicit applications for you. But if you want to start building more robust CLI applications that have several arguments, options, and commands, you will need to use the explicit Typer application format. And to do that, instantiate a Typer app. So above your greet function, you can have app equals typer.typer. And you'll reference this as your main Typer app. When running the app on the if name equals main, you can then call the app instead. Now, let's make your function a command. To do that, you would add a decorator on top of the greet function, like so. With this app.command decorator, Typer now makes this greet function a CLI command. One thing to note, by default, if you have just one single function and a single Typer command, Typer allows you to call the function just as you would in a basic Typer application, and things should work fine. I get the same result even though I've now introduced a new greet command. But when you start to have multiple commands in your application, I'll just add another command. Let's say, death, goodbye. Passing just a name argument. Again, making this a typer command. And this command, also using typer.echo, will just tell the user goodbye. If you run this like you did before, you will get an error, no such command, Joe, meaning that something is not right and you need to call the command. And to check what your application now requires, you can go back to the help documentation with Python 3 main.py double dash help. You should now see what your application needs, a list of all the available commands that you have, greet and goodbye. Now, if you run, and call the greet command, python3 main.py greet joe age 30, you get, hello Joe, you're 30 years old. And now it works. If you need to alter the command name, for example, you wanted something shorter, you can pass an alias in the decorator. In this case, I want to change my goodbye command to just something shorter, like bye. And if you check the help again, you should now see the command name has been changed. And you can now call that command, Python3 set of greet, Python3 main.py by Joe, and you should have goodbye Joe. Great, you've got the basics of command line application and building them with Typer.